like I mentioned, there is no setup process or a process that it uh, takes you through. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. Once you've connected all the things, you see the street, you see an option to connect Wi-Fi, like you would you would have seen. And after that, you can start setting it up. So here is the setup menu that uh, you get to see. Pretty straightforward again. Um, speakers lets you configure the speakers. HDMI lets you configure HDMI. I'm not gonna talk in detail about all this, but it's just that. Uh, they are very intuitive in itself and um, you wouldn't find any trouble going through these. Bluetooth had a little problem. I struggled a lot with the Bluetooth. Um, my OnePlus 6 was not easily connected. So it took me like 2-3 attempts to get my OnePlus 6 and then OnePlus 5 that my wife has get connected. But since they are connected now, uh, connecting again for uh, music uh, playback is not a problem. There are uh, tons of features in in the in the AVR. Um, the the things that you get to see on the AVR is is really nice, and you can see that since I have highlighted uh, Bluetooth, it shows Bluetooth on the display also. Let's go back um, and let's see what other things you can get to see it here. A lot of information. Um, You've got the red color is the HDMI out, the HDMI 1, I have renamed it to Tata Sky, Cinema DSP is on, Enhancer is on, Wi-Fi is on, Enhancer I have seen that uh, it provides a pretty good uh, push to, uh, to the signal and the speakers perform better so, so that's it. You can see mute flashing because I have muted from the remote and it works, volume is minus 35 de uh, decibels which is I'm watching the cricket match right now and that volume level is just perfectly fine for uh, me to watch the match at a at an acceptable level. I did not run the Yaopao uh, calibration because I've just got two speakers in front and I manually configured the speakers and since I had manually configured there wasn't any need for me to have a configuration done. In the setup like I had mentioned if you go to uh, speakers configuration I you can see I have put it in a biome front speaker set to large there's no subwoofer there's no center there's no surround and there's nothing here crossover 40 hertz because I really want to have I don't think cross crossover is even mattering right now because it's such a like these two speakers and all the signals are being pushed to uh, my POC uh, S55 once extra bass is on because um, I like the extra bass push that AVR is sending to uh, the towers. With this on, even at a low volume like I mentioned, I can feel the push. I have uh, I was also talking to my wife and we've seen that uh, there is a very good clarity uh, on the television. Now, this is an HD, this is a Tata Sky uh, box, this is an uh, HD Tata Sky box which is sending the signal in here and the signal is being uh, sent to the television both me and my wife felt that the quality of signal the video signal has improved a lot mm, the clarity is really nice the push is nice the, the overall uh, punchiness of the of the screen is is much nicer now and this is a sony tv and it's a pretty old tv it's not a new tv but you guys know that sony tvs are kind of class in themselves um after this i will uh, i did install the the app to configure the the amp so that there, there are like few apps that i'll i'll take you through the next uh, after this um, let's let's look at the apps now well before apps i thought we should have a look at the remote too this is the remote that i got with uh, the Yamaha AVR there is a button right at the top or the switch for zone A and zone B this is very nice uh, other things are quite standard uh, program mode is to I'll explain this later on with the app app is the mobile app that is there is pretty handy and that's what I'm using right now because mobile app has a lot more options for you to for you to tweak and adjust input methods pressing them changes through all the input methods volume mute uh, setup options. I haven't been in a position to use most of most of these. 
uh, and the best part is that whatever you press in here uh, it shows up on the display so if I uh, press I don't know mute off let's press the mute off so you see there is a display at the bottom of a television you see there's a display at the bottom of a television that shows uh, the button being pressed so it shows on the uh, AVR display and so is on the TV display too again not much uh, there's nothing great to talk about the remote it's pretty lightweight uh, feels pretty good to hand to hand hold and use uh, two little batteries have gone, have gone inside and um, I'm using less of a app and less of a remote and more of a app on my phone for a lot of other things that I'm doing with the TV or probably playing around with the TV after that now we will start we'll have a look at the mobile apps for Yamaha so Yamaha has three apps this is the AV setup guide app that I was talking about uh, this is the app which once you install takes you through the initial configuration of um, the things that you've got and once you've selected all the options on the screen uh, it connects with the AVR and then pushes all the updates to the AVR uh, you could do this on the phone or you could do it on the on the settings menu that I was showing earlier either way I didn't see any difference I I installed this app after I had completed my configuration on the AVR itself so you could install and see if it's really useful to you or not I didn't find it much useful the a app that I am using heavily right now is this AV controller um, lovely app so the moment you open this app it uh, this is the main page it finds the device at the top you can see the device at the list at the top the moment you see open this you have this nice little layout at the bottom if you see there are four options one is input so this is the input screen has all the input screens that you could possibly find all of them listed here and for you to change the input is pretty easy you just got to tap on the option and it just immediately happens the second option is a DSP all the different options the DSP options are listed here I'm watching the cricket world cup right now so I've selected sports and all of these options are very good you know they really have a noticeable impact on the reproduction of sound or maybe the color i i do not know the visual impact too but all in all if i am watching <clears throat> if i'm watching sports i've selected sports um, during televisions and all i keep standard uh, listening to music you can keep either the surround decoder or two channel stereo seven seven channel stereo uh, two channel stereo or seven channel stereo both are pretty good uh, surround decoder is fine as well standard and sports are nice too the bottom line works pretty nice too so all of these are uh, they definitely offer something different and you should try all of them this is the scene select mode i have not yet tried these out but i believe this is what it is right and this is the enhancement section or the setting section uh, you can have you ha can see the treble and bass options at the top extra bass is on like I mentioned I, li I like bass so extra bass is on now, subwoofer I don't have a subwoofer adapted here say nope enhancer is on because I've already seen I've, I've basically seen a pretty nice push to audio th with enhancer on dialogue level I've given it to two levels I think it goes up to five level with two level I can see a pretty nice uh, push to the dialogues this is the one that I've been using from the beginning since I don't have a center channel uh, I guess when I add the center channel this may not be needed and once you go down you have sleep options main screen off or main unit screen this is a tv screen you can turn it off so if you if i turn it off the tv screen goes off and then a firmware update you can do do a firmware update here as well account settings you can add all this account snapster title deezer and spotify um streaming allow streaming services is just to ensure that you allow them and instructions manual for the product you can download the instruction manual which i have already downloaded so that uh, should be that should be fine sorry for that uh, that's the main home page the button so the green button the top left i can turn off the avr by pressing this button it's as simple as that and the top right corner where you have the wireless and music symbols that is a symbol for you to wirelessly share your phone content with the AVR the, not Bluetooth wirelessly so 
the difference is that if you're connecting using bluetooth to play a song you'll keep getting notifications and calls and that'll get that'll disturb your music playback but if you connect over wi-fi then you can be on your own call you can have another call coming in notifications coming in that not stop or disturb the music playback that's happening the additional modification that i was talking about that it lets you the moment you press on uh, whatever mode that is selected it lets you configure the various settings the dsp level the room size other corrections by manually playing around with these tools and it's pretty intuitive if you look at that you know uh, pretty it highlights the parameter that is modifying on your on your display on your um, speaker setting to make that effect and it's I, I found it pretty handy though i haven't really seen a noticeable difference or maybe my ears with just two front speaker channels it'll be very tough to see a noticeable difference but at least you can definitely see it and at the bottom you can see the volume control pretty easy volume control oh this is totally oh okay this i didn't know about this i just got to know today <laughs> so it's, it's kind of good and here's a mute button you can directly mute from uh, on your phone also so i really like the the app that it has the mobile app and um, can't have any complaints about it so quickly summarizing uh, my initial impressions of yamaha a585 totally worth every penny i bought it from uh, yash technologies a local dealer in bangalore and i spent 42000 rupees that's uh, the the um, mrp is uh, 53 and i got around um, 20 21 percent discount and the final price for me was 42 absolutely worth it nowhere in the market i had seen the price for it the online prices have been in the range of 45 or something I could have waited for some sale and all. Um, there I could have found a little lesser price. The U price in US is $450. So if you compare that, um, $450 is around $34,000, $33,000. So not, not much of a deviation compared to the prices that you'd find in Denon and Maran's uh, series. And Yamaha, I really liked when i demoed it i liked its punch i like this balance uh, and and you no know, equal it's not as warm as marans and denon and that's okay i don't want warm if i really wanted some sort of warm signature i can manually adjust the settings to have a warm signature my purpose was to get a capable effective uh, avr and yamaha is totally worth every bit of uh, that in terms of its capabilities and performance 7.2 channel does the job pretty well i'm pretty happy with that as i add on additional speakers i'll get to uh, play with it some more all right so that's about it that's about the yamaha avr 585 uh, let me know if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer those thank you and see you guys later Bye bye